Hey guys, it's Allie, and in this week's video, I'm doing my January plan with me. Um, you guys voted on Instagram that you wanted to see a purple planet theme, so that is what I did, and I'm going a little bit out of my comfort zone because I like kind of getting other inspiration from bullet journalers and mixing them together, but I didn't really find a purple planet theme out there yet, so I kind of just searched up some doodles and went with the flow with this one, and I'm pretty proud with how it turned out. Um, so I'm just calligraphying January using a Tombow Food No Suki. I think it was the hard tip. And then I'm taking a Tombow in the color 620, the light purple, and I'm kind of making like a galaxy type thing in the back of January. And then I'm just going to be coloring in the planets in different shades of purple using mild liners and, and um, Tombows. And then to kind of make them look more planety, I'm going to be filling them in with dots or lines. Okay, so to add some dimension to this planet, I'm taking a white jelly roll gel pen and I'm just making lines on the planet and then you'll see later on that I add silver over the top of it just to match the stars in the background. I just want to let you guys know that all the markers I used are going to be listed in the description, so if you're ever wondering, that's where you can look. Okay, so now I'm taking that silver jelly roll metallic pen and I'm just going over those white lines to make it match and I'm also adding lines into the thick purple strip just to make the page sparkle more and then um, I'm adding some stars to make it look like a galaxy. Okay, and this is the finished title page for January. So moving on to my monthly spread, I'm just going to be taking that song, same, <laughs> Tamba Funosuki and calligraphying January. And then I'm trying to be a little bit more creative with my spreads because I kind of let it stop being creative near the end of the year. So I'm going to be blacking out where I'm going to put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, etc. at the top. And then I'm going to be writing it in with a white gel pen. Okay, so now I'm just going to be making the boxes for the month, and these are just going to be 5x5 five five little cubes. Super simple. Um, I would count the boxes. Don't make them 5x5 five five if your journal is bigger or smaller than mine. But then I'm going to be taking that same purple color, that 602 that I used on the front cover, and make a backdrop. Or not backdrop, drop shadow, that's what it's called, for all the boxes. And you can say hello to my cat because she decided to interrupt. <laughs> It's actually my mom's cat, but irrelevant. Okay, so I started off with a white jelly roll um, to kind of write out Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, blah, blah, blah. But it didn't really show up, so I had to switch to my Uniball Signo white gel pen. And that worked um, a little bit better. I also um, did try to do it with uh, silver and it didn't work. So the Uniball Signo works the best. And then I'm adding planets um, and all of the empty space just like I did on the cover, that's why I referenced it. And right now, and pretty much through the whole video, my favorite um, micron to use is a 0.8 because it's really thick and I think it looks really cool in doodles. And now I'm just going to be filling the planets in with different colors um, so that they match the front cover and I'm going to also be adding those lines and dots to them as well.
Okay, so now I'm just taking that same silver metallic jelly roll and adding stars all over just like I did on the front cover. And then off camera, I didn't realize I did this, but I also added those thin lines and then the like silver lines and the thicker purple lines. And now I'm just going to be taking the purple metallic jelly roll and I'm just going to be um, labeling the days of the month. And that is my finished monthly setup. So moving on to my mood tracker. I did get some inspiration off of Pinterest for this. I think her Instagram is bullet journal by Marique. I think that's how you say it. So you want to check her out. I think she did this mood tracker. Um, but it's basically just like a planet mood tracker in kind of like a solar system type thing. Apologize for my cat spell in the background. We have four cats, so it's kind of hard to avoid. Anyways, so um, I basically just use my Tombow Funosuke to write out mood and then a Tombow dual tape brush pen to write out tracker and then I traced tractor with my tractor. I traced tracker with my 0.8 micron and then I'm just attaching all of the planets using that 620 um, Tombow du du dual tip brush pen. I swear everything in this video just makes like a tongue twister for me and I can't talk at all. So sorry if you can't understand me ever. And then after I finished up labeling the days with the Tomba Food no Suki, I just went with that metallic jelly roll and added some stars. I swear they just do the bell whenever I'm recording. When I'm not recording, there's no bell, I promise. So apparently I didn't get footage of me like recording my sentence a day, so you can just see it at the end, it's pretty basic. But moving on to my expense tracker, um, I saw inspiration from this from Larissa Journals. She's really cute, you guys should go check her out, she's a really cute feed. Um, but basically she divides her expense tracker into sections and does it across two pages. Well, I used to do just one big column on one page. And so I could like find myself never actually fitting everything that I like would buy or that I would take in throughout the month. So I think this would be a lot more organized and a lot more efficient in actually tracking what I'm spending. So that's kind of my little TED talk about this. I thought it was really cool and super great idea. So anyway, so I just did different sections for income, food, shopping, bills, and random. And then um, I'm going to put planets at the top. And then I'm using that 602 for like a header color. And then the two or the three different columns are labeled in the uh, purple metallic jelly roll. And it's going to say date description. And then it's two dollar dollar signs. I'm sorry, that was cringy, uh, for the amount that I spent or received. And then I'm just going to be coloring the planets just like I did on the front color and on the monthly spread. And since we have downtime, I can tell you what the other markers are. The dark purple is the Tombow Food, nope, Tombow Dual Tip Brush Pen 636. And then the Zebra Mild Liner doesn't have like a number, but it's the light purple one in the I don't even know what pack it is but sorry and then the like electric purple is the 665 Tombow dual tip brush pen and since I'm repeating everything 3,000 times in this video I'm taking that silver metallic jelly roll and making stars again All right, moving on, I'm doing my don't forget. I like doing this because I like lists and it helps me not forget things. Get bit. I bet you couldn't guess that. So I'm basically just writing don't forget in that in dark purple and then forget in my food no suki and then drawing the doodles and the stars with all the same materials that I've been using for the whole video, just so I don't completely tuck your ear off if I haven't done that already.
Okay, so I've also decided to add a quote page with every monthly setup. So this one is going to be a blackout quote because it's going to be kind of like a galaxy and I'm writing on it with my Uniball Signo white gel pen and the quote is from So Will I by Hillsong and the quote is, um, and as you speak, a hundred billion galaxies are born because I thought it was pretty fitting with my theme for the month. So I'm just writing that out using the Uniball Signo and then um, I'm doing the fake calligraphy on um, galaxies and then I'm just using my normal handwriting for everything else and I'm just going to add stars like I did with a silver metallic jelly roll but I'm doing it with a white Uniball Signo. <laughs> Sorry that wasn't confusing. Okay, so now I'm moving on to my weekly setup and I've gone back to doing it two pages at a time instead of one page at a time because I used to set them up two weeks in a row but I want them to be a little bit more spread out, have a little bit more space and um, it also gives me another excuse to be creative during the week. So I'm just going to be making a horizontal layout using boxes and then taking that 602 Tombow dual tip brush pen um, and making a drop shadow like I did on the monthly setup. And then I took that electric purple which is the color 665 and I'm going to be using that to distinguish where the date is. And then I'm also going to be making a little to-do list there at the bottom to fill out some space. And like I said, I like making lists. So then I took my Tomba Funosuke and I just labeled all the dates. And then I took my Uniball Signo and I'm writing Monday through um, Sunday on it. And then I took my 0.8 Micron and I'm just adding black stars um, to the purple to kind of have it match with my theme. And that is the finished weekly setup and this is my completed January. I'm super proud of it because I don't think I've ever gone like this in depth and this creative for a bullet journal setup. And there's my sentence today that you missed. Pretty boring, not that exciting. Um, but if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to, you can follow me on Instagram. I post all of my bullet journal videos and pictures and stuff on there. It's at bad.anfujo and leave suggestions for me in the comments and thanks for your support see you next week